Welcome back to Kenny's Photo Motor. Today we're working on 2008 Nissan Altima. This vehicle coming with power steering fluid leaking. We find out is steering rack pinion is gone. So we're gonna start to show you how we can take it out. And the first step, you gonna take the outer tire rut. So I lose the bolt. So when you lose the bolt, just you go hit this way here. See, get loose, out. And you gotta take that, that, this, uh, the steering column shafter. So the shafter come to this, is 12 millimeter, you take it out. Then you push this join up, okay? And you lose, you take the bolt out for the subframe. You don't have to take all of them out because it's gonna drop. So you take the this bolt out, the tool rear subframe bolt. I lose this one, I did not take it out. See, loose. And I make some space for myself. And it disconnect the line, this pressure hose line, and return line. Okay, so it's two bolt. This one. See, this one. 22 22 millimeter right here and same thing in this way so this vehicle uh, most of the time is when you ch change the power steering rock opinion the line freeze so you gotta cut it or replace it so what I did now I already cut the line is it doesn't it's, I can't save it I get a new line one piece and I have another piece so usually the metal piece always freeze. Okay, so this is a new pressure hose. So if you replace the proper opinion, it's better to replace the power steering pressure hose same time while you're there because it's gonna give you a hard time to do it. It's right here. So this is the old rack opinion, and you're gonna take this out same way. So right here, 19 millimeter net, you take it out. You hit this, come out, same way like the other side. Disconnect the wire for the sensor right here. And it's so simple, just need to be patient and make sure before you take anything out, when you park the vehicle, remove the key or make sure the steering straight and lock position. Because if not lock, you can lose the alignment and also 90% you're gonna damage the clock spring for the airbag. Uh, so, so simple. This one out. I re already moved the bolts, everything. I'm gonna hit this too. Out. Keep watching it. This one is a little bit give you a hard time that thing, but if you spray a lot of oil, will be so easy. The easy way to take this piece out will be like this. You got a you got a pry bar. After you lose it, so after you take the bolt out. I'm gonna put some light here. Right here. So, after you take the 12 millimeter ball out and you put the pry bar right through here, look. Right through here. And, and you hit this piece. This piece up. This, you, you hit it up and gonna come out. Like, let's make sure you, you load first. You see? Just so simple. See this piece here, when you take the bolt out, the join, steering join, you hit it in the side, you're gonna come out. Make sure when you put it back, before you put it back, clean it really good. Okay, so I I already disconnect the balls, everything. 
Okay, I'm by myself today, so I gotta use the camera by my one hand and uh, take it out. So everything loose, I took the bolts out. So you see, the way you make room, this stabilizing, you go like this. So you just connect the both sides, this, this stabilizing from the bottom. Okay, this one is broken anyway, so we'll replace it. So this, you, when you remove the stabilizing, the step, uh, the the bar go up like that, and then you squeeze this like opinion outside right here. See, just like that. You take it out. It's a piece of cake. So this is the old like opinion, and this is the pressure hose which I have to replace because the line. See this frozen here. I cannot get it out, I have to cut it. So I put a, uh, already power uh, pressure hose for the power steering. So this is leaking right here. You can see broken, look. This is broken. So then I I find one use, it's pretty clean. It's gotta have low mileage use part. The customer, you don't have a lot of money to spend, so try to save, save money. So the same part, it costs a lot of money if you. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, there's a new one in. Look, just put it in. The stand straight, and this is lined up. Look what I said in the beginning. You see the black thing, the blue thing, the blue plastic? It's gonna go between. Just gonna put some light here. You see? You see, between that, uh, the shafter, steering shafter. So this is like lining up the straight, you don't have to do alignment, and you don't have to mess up the clock spring. You take it out the way you the way you check it out, the way you put it back. So, this is, I just put it by hand. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tie those bolts. I put a bolt, you see the bolt? For the holding the lacquer pinion, one, two. See? Right here, I'm gonna tie those. After I tie those, then I'm gonna tie the subframe, slowly. So, you tie it. This time, this side a little bit, and this side a little bit. Then after you put the other bolt you took out, and when you tie it, the, the bracket pinion with the subframe go up, okay? So this is, has to go all the way down. Uh, this shaft has to go all the way in. We'll go all the way in, and the bolt, 12 millimeter, is right here, so, which I'm gonna clean it up before I put it in, and then go here, this way, from here. The easy way to do, after you turn, then you turn the steering, that way, make some room, we put the bolt from here. So it's so important to watch this video to the end, and that way, you get all the info, how you're gonna do it. So, there's the, I put the new pressure hose, so right here, right from uh, power steering, so this is, doesn't come with the sensor, so pressure sensor. Uh, okay, so I put the old one back. And here you go. All right, so don't forget after you gotta put the stabilizing line back. So there's a new line. See the shiny one? So I'm gonna tie this. There's the hose. Okay, so we got. Okay, so we're gonna go in step by step. So that's how you do this power steering rack opinion for Nissan Altima 2008. It's simple if you make room and be patient. So we're gonna go in. I gotta put the camera down because uh, by myself today, so promise you guys take you wherever I go to the auction even I go to vacation I will make videos so 
I get everything in the spot in the right position just I'm gonna go and keep watching okay this is the final step it's all set we already put fluid start the vehicle see the steering straight no leak and the steering straight here too look that's how and after you did the job make sure there's no airbag light so if you have an airbag light that means you mess up the already mess up the clock spring but look it's ready to go all set always welcome to Kenny's Forum Motors my YouTube channel uh, feel free if you have any question leave a comment down below don't forget subscribe and comment likes